Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. Besides your medical questions, another group of questions I get is about prepping. So I wanted to put together a video to answer some of those questions. And like you guys, I'm right there in the same boat. It's easy to get overwhelmed with prepping. Um, I watch videos on YouTube. I've got subscribers that I subscribe to just like you guys. And man, these guys are just abundantly prepping. Um, they have land, they have a lot of supplies, they have money to do prepping. And like most of us, I don't. So I wanted to talk about sensible prepping. Prepping is a, is a lifestyle. You know, we have people in our retreat group, our small group, that are spending bukus of money preparing, prepping, and that's all well and good if you have the financial backing to do that. But for most of us, we don't. So we have to work that into our lifestyle. You know, I have chickens, I have a garden, I have a rain barrel have food, I have ammunition. Those are all part of my lifestyle. So it's not like I'm sitting to the side just for whatever scenario, crap hits the fan, WRL, but I work those into my lifestyle so I'm using those. <laughs> Basically with your prepping needs, there are four main things you need to worry about. Of course, number one is water then food, and then the next two, you can prioritize how you want to, but I would say protection and medical supplies. Those are the four basic things you need for to begin your prepping needs. Uh, you can go way beyond that. You can expand beyond whatever your imagination shows, but I believe those are your four main basic groups, okay? If you can have water nearby or water that you can filter by well, uh, water system, uh, Berkey water bottles, however you need to filter the water to keep your family and yourself having clean water is whatever you need to do. Also with the food, you know, we have long-term uh, storage supplies, we have the rice, we have the beans, we have Mylar bags of oxygen, we have all that stored away for long term. Well, we also do a garden to have fresh vegetables. I do a spring garden and a fall garden. Um, my garden is small garden relative to what you guys are used to, but it feeds me and my family. It's more than enough for me and my family. We have chickens, okay? We have the eggs that they produce as well. We also have roosters so we can reproduce the chickens. We can hatch uh, chicks and then if we need to, we can either sell those to make money for bartering or we can slaughter the chickens for food and for protein. And of course, what would Skinny Medic be about medical supplies? You know, I have abundance of medical supplies. I'm very fortunate in that nature. So I can have stockpiles of medical supplies. And then of course my protection. Um, I have several uh, numerous guns as well as ammunition as well. You know, if you have the financial backing to go out and purchase hundreds of acres of land to have multiple wells on your property, then fantastic, that's awesome. You know, you're truly blessed to have that opportunity. But for others, we don't. So you have to kind of work it into your lifestyle and don't let it be something that you just set aside and never use. You've got to be able to incorporate this into your lifestyle and how you do on your day-to-day -day walk. And with prepping being a lifestyle, it's not something that we go out and we spend thousands of dollars at a time building up our supplies. This is something that on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, we pick up extra supplies, we pick up extra ammo, you know, we, we put another water system in. This is something that you do a little bit at a time and when you look back, you're like, wow, I've got all this now. You know, even for me over the past year, I look back and my food storage has greatly increased, my water storage has greatly increased, my ammo supplies, 
my guns, all that has increased over the last year, but I did it a little bit at a time and not just, bam, go out and spend all this money at one time. I hope this video helps you and you're prepping. You never know when you're going to be the first responder.